Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Ford Mustang 6th generation from year 2015 to year 2022 currently. If you need to install heat, you guys stay with us, we'll explain how to do that step by step. Now, it's not very complicated, but there are a few tricks that you need to follow and we'll share all that as we go. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you. For any of you that need to buy hitch, any parts, tools for your Ford, Must Ford Mustang and you want to save quite a bit of money, check out the link in the description of the video below. Let's go ahead and start on it now. So we have the jack, uh, the car actually on the jack stands here on the quick jack. Uh, we're gonna put the link in the description of the video below where we get ours from now. Uh, we need quite a bit of room to work on it. You can do it on jack stands, but always use double jack stands or the, just the jack itself. Uh, what do we need to do now guys? Okay. Uh, let me just get here quick. I want to show you there are actually Okay, uh, there Okay, the mounts okay for the exhaust there are a bolt on top, okay And one right here. We need to drop that one on the passenger and the driver's side Before we continue with anything else. You don't need to remove the bumper or anything like that. It's super super easy installation by the way So let's go ahead and do that. One is about to come out, and then we'll proceed with the next one. Careful the exhaust not to fall on you. Okay, because those could be actually quite heavy. Perfect. Now let's go ahead, do the same on the other side. Okay, the same sideways bolt. And after that, we're going to remove this one. So once we remove it, okay, we can continue with the next step. Now that's where the, uh, the EVAP system is for your car, you can see. This is uh, uh, where the fuel vapors come and the canister, I believe, okay. Uh, this is the rear axle with the temperature sensor right there. Fuel tank right in front of it, so you can see it has the aftermarket exhaust, but it looks close to the original. This is the... Uh, torsion bar and those are the bushings right here on all the vehicles those actually go bad quite quite often so okay one more is coming out let's go ahead and uh, continue with uh, removing the bottom ones now So quite tight actually, quite tight. Yep, it's coming loose now. Perfect. Let's see if we can do it with the impact. Came out now on this one the same thing we need to do on this one here I don't think it's gonna work just with the impact because we have the extra extension too Good thing I had the camera not to smash me in the face, I guess. So, <laughs> it's not a bad idea if you use a helmet too, guys, underneath. Now, you need to support the exhaust or have a person hold it because it will start dropping. We need to remove two more bolts with 13 millimeter. Okay, you can see the ones right there. Let's go ahead and do that. It's going to, uh, okay, at first it will not fall because it has a thing that holds it there, but be careful. Perfect. 
perfect one is out. Now one more on this side. Hold exhaust, just in case. Perfect. Now we can go ahead. Okay, let's go ahead and get the mounts out. Kind of like you need to move them a little bit and they get stuck on top. You can see right here. So we need to go ahead and pick up on this side and kind of like twist it. Okay, this one came out. Let's do the same to the other ones here. Lift up and come out. And that exhaust, now be careful, it's going to drop down. Okay, that's enough. That will be enough for us because that will be the catalytic converters. And here all we need to do is just sneak the hitch underneath it. You can see that will be enough for all. So next, uh, you get the bolts, guys. Okay, you need to get a plate, you need to get the bolt. Then you practically screw the spring. That's a fishing spring on top of the bolt. You just screw it. Okay, and uh, I already fished some of those. We just left uh, two to show you guys. Okay, but you can see how they come out of the rail. And we have one more towards the back that I need to do. So, uh, let's uh, actually go ahead. Okay, okay, set it like that. Okay, perfect. Right there. Okay, no, nope. okay. Like this one. I'll go here and I'll show you how I'm going to fix this one now. So you get the idea. All of them are about that. Sometimes if you're lucky, you can do it really, really quick, guys, as well. Some days it may take you a little bit longer. It really depends. It's a little bit of luck. So we're going through the big hole on top. And you kind of like need to see where, okay, that thing's going to come. Some days you might need to vent it a little bit. Okay, one of them fell. Let me get it. I hit it with the thing and it fell in. Almost there. I just want to see where exactly it tries to come. When I come like that. see okay so <laughs> the easy one that's supposed to be super easy I have harder time getting it by the way so check it out now Okay, I brought it here. Now you're going to get remove the plate of the bolt. Put the plate in first. Don't yank too much because the bolt can fall in. If that happens, you have super readily guard uh, trail frame trail on the back. You come out of here. Okay, I need to pull the this one here. It fell accidentally. Just be gentle when you pull them. Okay, we'll do all four like that and we'll continue. On this side we have all four, now all four on the other side. So working on the last one now guys. Okay, the plate goes first, remove it off the boat, remember. We're fishing it through here, then we're getting the boat in. Gently pull it out. Okay, and now all we have to do is get the hitch. Go with the springs through the hitch. Okay, and we'll show you what to do next. So we got it in guys, we installed one nut to show you now the spring, what you need to do. Okay, you need to just gently start pulling it out. Careful not to pull too much so the bolt doesn't fly back in. Okay, take your time. Perfect, the spring is out. I'll get the nut. If you push too much, the bolt will go in. So 
What we need to do, just carefully center the nut. Okay, and catch it by hand. Okay, like that. And we need to do that for all eight bolts. So we installed all bolts, guys. Now we're going to start getting things tied uh, with the torque wrench. Our specific one says 70 foot pound. Always check the kit that comes with yours. When you hear the click stop immediately, that means that you reach the torque and you're not over torquing them. So let's go ahead, do that. Listen now for that click. Almost. No, not yet. Maybe I need to push. No. Not yet. Not in. Okay, let me see if we can get in. Perfect. Let's go ahead. Push now. Okay, we need to come this way again. That's it. So we'll do that for all eight bolts and we'll continue. So we installed it guys, okay you can see now we're just getting everything tied. I'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get the hitch form. Uh, now it will not be red like ours because we painted, okay the section that's visible. Okay but all we have to do, install the exhaust now, those six bolts and we'll see what it looks like after that. So let me show you now guys, that's what it looks like, okay the hitch is installed and it's ready to go so uh, yeah hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that, if you need any help with anything let us know, thank you for watching, see you guys next time.